And we begin at 6 with the news from the Erie County Health Department that the county is now averaging 54 new cases of COVID per 100,000 residents each day. That puts the county in the CDC's substantial risk category where there are recommended guidelines for masking. But as we'll tell you in a moment, the county is only choosing to put mask mandates in certain facilities right now. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Alice Stemmler. And I'm Michael Wooten in for Scott Levin. Before we talk about the masking changes, within the past hour, we spoke with Dr. John Selick, an epidemiologist with Kaleida Health. Here's his message to a question we get a lot from viewers. If you're unvaccinated, should you still go get a vaccine, even though some vaccinated people are still testing positive for the virus? If you get vaccinated, you are very unlikely to get in the hospital or die. And all of our vaccines uh, have some level of breakthrough infection with it. Uh, you know, the things that have made uh, mumps, measles and rubella go away, things that were scourges when I was a kid are are now largely uh, uh, kept very well under control. So, uh, you know, yes, you may get a, a breakthrough infection, uh, but you're probably not going to get real sick. With cases on the rise in recent weeks here in Western New York, hospitalizations are also slightly up, but thankfully they're still staying relatively low at this point. But if that changes, guidelines and safety protocols in the county could change once again. Two on your side, Steve Brown tells us how County Executive Mark Polencars is handling this latest rise in cases. But with the Delta variant and seeing that individuals who are fully vaccinated who are getting sick, uh, we're concerned about what the future will bring. And with almost 500 new COVID cases in Erie County in the last week, the health commissioner today declared the county had reached the CDC's definition of substantial transmission of the virus triggering new but narrow mask mandates. Now, people working in or visiting Erie County buildings are required to wear a mask. On the legality of the mandate, we checked with attorney Paul Cambria. Can he do that? I think that he can do that. Uh, just as private employers can require their employees to either be vaccinated or wear a mask uh, in uh, certain travels around their office at their desk, it's a different story. But I, he definitely has the power to do that. The Erie County Executive strongly recommends private establishments open to the public also require masks, but it's not a mandate at this time. Hospitalizations is going to be a driving factor. If hospitalizations still stay, stay low, okay. Hopefully we will not have to have indoor mask mandates across the whole community. If they rise and they continue to grow, then it's a serious concern. I feel as though locking down our community again uh, is just extreme and should not happen. The county controller, no fan of polling cars or COVID restrictions earlier this week, took to social media to preemptively call people to ignore future mask mandates. So boycott any indoor mask mandates. If you wanna wear a mask, Go right ahead, knock your socks off. That is your choice. Paul Incar says Mahilu's posturing is about politics. The controller is running for office this year, so he's trying to get any coverage he can of what truthfully is a failed campaign. Mahilu is running for Hamburg Town Supervisor, but insists his objections are not about an election. I've been consistent in over a year and a half, and other than Dave DiPietro, uh, there's no one else in Erie County that's been this vocal about protecting businesses. No Mark Polencar seems to think it's, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> Just because Mark Polencar says it so, doesn't make it so. The back and forth between polling cars and Mahilu aside for a moment, the county executive today again urged people who have not been vaccinated to yet reconsider that decision. Polling cars notes about a quarter of new COVID cases are people who have been vaccinated, but they tended to get far less sick. In studio, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.